break in Arts of ASEAN, we welcome you back with Raya, the musical cast and crew. We're going to go inside and see how they work in composing music. How can they sing a song? Some of the performers has been professional musicians, but Arya Eharget herself, she never sing live on stage before. How is this going to be? Let's see. Arrange music for musical, it needs a lot of experiences. Learn to actually listen to the music devices and their sound. Learn the musical scales, know all about music theory, and understand that after creating the melody, knowledge of harmony and accompaniment is essential. So they can start working on literature interpretation. Each song has its own difficulties to make audiences get into flow of the performance. Actually, uh, composing a musical, it's, it's not really a job that is separate from all the other aspects of creating the musical. Because, in fact, in a musical, the music really dominates the entire work. And um, structurally speaking, we, we decide how a musical, we decide how the structure of the musical is by first fixing what the songs are going to be and how they fall into the, the structure. So basically, my first job was not to write the music at all, but to analyze the story and, and figure out what, this, what the songs are. And then once the songs have been figured out, then I have to arrange the structure of the musical so that the dialogue can be written to fit in between the songs. So, uh, so basically, it's, it's what I've done is not a separate job just writing the music. It's actually creating the entire structure of the musical and then so that others can then add their own creative, um, creative uh, sort of input into it. is the most probably the oldest musical activity. Even in the most archaic culture, the singer had a special defined position. In early singing, there are three classes of sound. The first is called logogenic, in which words from the basis of the wavering musical incantation. The second, called pathogenic, consists of hearts forceful, percussive, non-verbal sounds emit to express strong feeling. And in the third category called melogenic, the sound of the two previous categories combine to form contour of pitch that pursue a course seemingly dictated by the weight of tensions inherent in the sequence of pitch and hence melodic in the effect. <laughs> Stylistically, it's, it, it may be uh, a little bit more complex than, than much of the music that is written for musicals in, in Thailand at the moment. But it's actually really um, about the same as, or, as in, any musical in London or, or Broadway as far as, um, as, far as the, the level of sophistication I'm hoping to, to, that the audience will have in, in appreciating it. So I haven't really... I haven't really talked down to the audience at all. I've tried to write, um, write music that works on a, on a quite an advanced level as far as musicals are concerned. So, um, so it, it's music that tries to explore the characters very deeply. It, it's music that tries to... Um, and it's most important, it's music that makes the story, that, that basically moves the story. In other words, the, in, in this musical, the, the, the action doesn't stop for the songs. The action is actually carried out by the songs. And the, so, the action actually stops in the dialogue more, because in the, di the dialogue is basically uh, the setup for the next song, the next production number, you see. So um, I've tried to make it as fluid as possible. And you'll see that um, there are a lot of um, thematic connections in the music between different, um, different songs, so that so that there are certain ideas that represent um, emotions or characters that are carried through from song to song. Certain harmonic, uh, harmonic progressions and certain melodic fragments are actually carried f from song to song. So that it's, uh, <clears throat> in that sense, it, it's composed in a more holistic 
way than just individual songs. It's, it's, it's actually conceived more like an opera than a, than, than, a, than a song and dance show, you see. Really, I'm not a singer. I'm, I'm just acting. And I don't think I have to take it seriously. Uh, I sang many, many songs in TV series, but still, I don't enter a singing class. But this time, it's a musical, and everybody is doing so well in, on their performance on singing, and I'm the, I'm the only one not proficient here, so I can't run away anymore. <laughs> I, must, I must take the course. So it's, it's a good opportunity for me to, you know, to take a singing class, and, and I found out that I love it. So even though after I finished this, I figured out that I might, you know, go on with the singing class. Kun Jompu has been with us for three months and she's been practicing, she's been, you know, improving her voice. Um, I'm, I'm very impressed and I'm very, uh, uh, I can see the, the development in her um, voice, you know, and uh, the change. Uh, once, uh, after two months, you know, she can sing differently. And on stage, I'm sure she can handle it well. Performers are doing their best to make the best performance. Even there are several difficulties they have to deal with. Some of them never performed in stage performance before. Some never had any acting class. Director plays an important role in making point of direction to the whole production. Stage play is really fresh and that's the reason why performers need to understand each other really well on stage. Of course we have some new actors but we have but um, they have the ability to sing. We choose them. We chose them because when they came to audition we picked them up by uh, their singing, by their voice. So the voice is the most important for the musical. So once they sing well, they sing beautifully, then you know they could do the, the, the rest of the, the acting and the dancing. That is, that, that is um, uh, I'm not saying that is not important, but once they can sing well, the musical um, uh, can run you know, by, by the good voice. It's Raya the musical, and I am Raya. <laughs> so maybe 70% I was on stage, and I have so many dialogues. I have four songs to sing, and I have to change outfits. And I mean, it's all about Raya, and it's consuming a lot of energy for me. I can't get sick. <laughs> I can't get sick at all. So I must take very good care of myself now and about the singing part is the most, you know, it's, it's the thing that I concern the most, is the singing and uh, I want to do it right. So sometimes I keep thinking of what my teacher taught me and I forgot about the acting, you know what I mean? So even though you're singing, you're still acting, and because I want to do it so good, so I I forget that, and it's very important. So I have to free myself more, which is which is quite difficult because I want to I want to do the singing part. Well, not as good as my friends, but more than I expected, more than other people could expect. So it's like kind of pressuring myself too much and pressure is no good. Music is the best tool to suit one's mind. It makes us feel so relate. And musical is another presentation that will lead to another choice of entertainment in Thailand.
because this is the first time ever for Thai Tao Sujit Gun's Dark Som Si Tong to be portrayed in musical form. I would say the difference of uh, Raya the musical is the music itself. The music is very rich, the music is very beautiful, the music is original and the music um, can really move the audience, you know, better than uh, uh, other musical for sure. Because, you know, we uh, once, every time we rehearse, we are very proud of each numbers of the solo, of the duet, of the ensemble. So I think uh, this, this, this is going to be um, a fun thing to watch on stage. It's, it's going to be different. It's going to be different from the television. Uh, you will go home with another feeling. Uh, I believe that most, most of the Thai audience have seen it on TV or even though they, they might missed it on Channel 3, they might have seen it on YouTube or, or whatsoever, but uh, you will go home with another feeling. You would have this question. It's like it's very encouraging, uh -huh. and ah, you just gotta come and see it. It's it's, it's different. It's just, and you will love her more. You will love Raya more. People always say you know, they want to say something to the audience, and and I think that if the show has not said it to the audience, then there's no point in me saying it. So they should just come to the show, and then everything will be known at that point.
Next week, we'll sticking with Raya the musical with that cast and crews. We will have a chance to talk with Myra, Mani Pasan Malai, who is going to portray as Raya in her childhood time, as well as Tisidi Napatalum, world class conductor, his Thai, and as well as Mr. Dean Chibuya, who is going to work on artistic scene design. That is all so much that you couldn't miss, so stay tuned for next week. And if you would like some more information, please feel free to visit r a y a d a m i l s c o o l c o m That is all for today. Bye bye. เจ็บใจที่โง่ให้คุณมาสนตะพายเกลียดคนที่ยามหนาแต่ให้ฉันต้องอาภายเดินผิดที่ตรงใดถึงต้องทำให้ช้ำใจจากนี้ไปอย่าหาว่าจะทำร้ายกันทิ้งมันซะรีบนะคะสวัสดีงั้นมันจะมารัดกันเกี่ยวให้จมน้ำพาจนตายเดินจ้าเดินจ้าเดินทิ้งมันซะอย่าลองคองเด่นไม่เคยกลัวไม่ได้คิดยอมแบ่งผัวไปให้ใครโทรมีคนดีคนดีอย่ากรอดเลยเดียวแก่แค่เพียงผู้หญิงไรค่าคุณอย่าได้แค่แต่ขออย่าใจร้อนแค่ปลอดให้เวลาให้ทิ้งก็จะทิ้งสิ้นสัญญา